Okay, everyone. Um, this is a long-awaited video here. We've been working up to this for a little bit. I wanted to talk about what uh, fabricating these motor mounts for the common rail conversions look like. This is obviously a 12 valve block and what we have over here are you know just the standard four holes. This is a non-storm block. Um, a storm block would be a 12 valve block that would have the two extra holes um, you know so that it could be mounted either you know in the later style um, like kind of 98 and a half and up body. So what we have to do here is to get your common rail to line up you know, or your 12 valve to line up in your common rail body without having to make a, a tragedy out of your frame and weld and cut and all that stuff. What you want to do is you want to use the back two holes of your motor mounts. So this is where the motor mount would normally sit. I'm going to grab a motor mount here. Um, so this is where, and this is obviously a common rail motor mount, but this is where it would normally sit if you were installing it back into your 95, well, 94 through 98 truck. Um, but that's not going to work for a common rail. What we need to do is we need to move it over and we need to be mounting it here. So in order to do that, we're going to use a quarter inch plate. And I've, we've, we've got one here that we've fabbed up just so you can have an idea. Um, and we have, we've taken the measurements and, you know, made a little template so that we could try to standardize this a little bit. Um, and you want to get the holes right. They're M12 by 1.75 thread pitch for those bolts there. And what you want to do is you're going to use all four of those holes. And obviously these holes here are going to be now the front bolt holes. And in back, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch hands here. So in back here, what we've done is we have, if you notice, a larger bolt hole. So what we've got going on there is, with that in mind, we've taken the appropriate sized M12 nut here, and we've ground the edges off of it. And the reason why we do that is you see that sticks right behind here. That's raised up. So you don't have, you know, this is cast iron. You don't want to be shoving a bolt into the side of your block because that might give you some kind of a stress fracture over time as it as it torques up and unloads. So what we do is we take this plate here. Okay, so I've got, uh, we're actually working on my brother's block and he is now holding the camera for us. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna show you what this looks like. I'm just gonna put that guy in there real quick so I can balance that. So we're, we're gonna take this guy here. You can see that nut and we've rounded it off. It should be about three quarters of an inch round when you take and you round all the points off of it. Um, and then we're gonna take this and we've drilled this out to three quarters of an inch. And then you're gonna take and you're gonna beat that in there where it's flat, okay? So that's gonna go in there and it's obviously gonna protrude out the backside a little bit. Um, but it's not going to be anything near like what you have before. And then you can come in and you can grind those threads down um, and clean it up a little bit to make sure that it doesn't stick out. And we're going to take and we're going to run a thing of weld around the front and a thing of weld around the back. Then clean up the front of it so that you get a nice solid fit that this guy's not going to, you know, come out of there on you. So you use a hammer, you beat it flat because your motor mount is going to sit against this side here. So let's, let's show you what that looks like when you're gonna actually, so we get a working concept of this here. I'm gonna take this guy and I'm gonna stick it in there. Just so we can save our position. I'm gonna stick that guy in there. Okay, then I'm gonna take this guy out. I'm gonna show you what this looks like. So this is gonna go in just like this. And then that bolt is going to be, those are going to become the front of your motor mount bolts. And then that threads into the block, just like it normally would. And then remember, we're going to have captive nuts back here. We're not trying to fish around behind this thing and, you know, hold a wrench in there while we tighten something up. Plus, there's not a lot of room on these guys. Yeah, that's great. Get that 
you can see that that thing sits right back on that. So especially, there's more room down here for that nut to stick out, but especially on this top one where you've got that casting that comes out, you wanna make sure that that, you know, the bolt, you need to make sure that your bolt matches that length so it's not shoving into your block and that your nut isn't protruding back there because you don't want it sticking out at an angle. This is, this is carrying all the weight. So you'll do that on both sides and then you, after having done this, these cradles will stick out a quarter of an inch more. So when you stick your bolt, here's your motor mount bolt, when you stick that through there, there's a carrier, the two ears that stick up this way, you're gonna have to machine those out, grind them out just a little bit, a quarter of an inch, so that this bolt will sit down in a new channel to make up for that quarter inch spacer. But that's all the modification that you'll have to do for your common rail swap if you use this style of a motor mount plate. And again, this is quarter inch plate steel, and these are M12 1.75 bolts.